All right, so my plan here, so like this thing has life steal. What they could do though, they can block with their daring poro and shoot their own daring poro if they have like a removal spell. And so kind of my plan is to give this overwhelm, not let them just shoot their own uh, blocker. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios Nami trying out a new updated list, again, submitted by another viewer for Aphelios Nami. Um, we're going to be, uh, you know, using our moon weapons, you know, saving our spell mana to level up Nami, using moon weapons as continual spells and more spells for Nami. Um, you know, like this is basically just like a Zoe Nami deck, you know, but we are playing a Felios, so we're gonna be playing a more control version that should hopefully be able to produce some more spells. Uh, we have Mentor the Stones in here that can buff up Sparklefly, and I think a big part of our deck is gonna be buffing up Sparklefly. Plus, Mentor the Stones is gonna be creating all those gems whenever it dies, and those will help us out. We got Double Troubles. We've learned Double Trouble and Nami just go so well together. And we also have Fleet Admiral Shelly. At the top end that again whenever we're casting our spells are granting our other allies plus one plus one so let's go ahead and give this a try let's try out a felios nami it's ranked day we're going to be heading on over to ranked and playing our five games over there see if we can rank up with the felios nami hey zach all right lulu not lulu poppy fizz poppy i'm just used to saying lulu poppy but nope this is the noxus version of fizz poppy Okay, we're going to go ahead and send it back. Could keep a Shade Stalker. I want to see Double Trouble, Nami, that kind of stuff. Not a very good mulligan. I would have rather had just like the first hand. This is a lot of expensive cards. A lot of expensive cards. Rose says it's real hot there, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, or 40 Celsius. That is quite warm. It's, it's probably about 90 here in North Texas where I am. My quest is dangerous. So My don't get that attuned mana. This is a this is a poor hand. I really regret basically everything with my mulligan. Five four is a good blocker. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Really? Really? Wow, that's how that's gonna work. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. So basically, the aloof travelers not got rid of the got rid of a sparkle fly on top of the deck and discarded a sunburst. But I want to play. Find peace in the quiet, fell. It's just us. I want to play that to create the calibrum here. It's not good for my Shelly that I'm playing that. 
Because, you know, not saving that spell for Shelly. So either go towards leveling up Aphelios. Or... Or, you know, get the Shelly in play and bust stuff up with Shelly. Again, I'm not getting the absolute most possible value in every single card. They're sitting there ready with those mini morphs. attack with like these things into this and like let just give them more space okay so now Nami will be leveled up Gonna level up a uh, Felios. No, really. So playing the two spells so that we can create another moon weapon here. More moon weapons. More moon weapons. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Looking for a Nami. Ooh. So the one of Solari Priestess in here, I didn't really mention it. I am with you. It just gives them room to block, but Oh well, I mean and then just replace. It doesn't really matter. Three, six, seven, deal and seven. So anyway, the the one of um, Solar Priestess in our deck is um, like a, a a flex slot, and so if you have you know something else that you'd rather be playing, um, if you have something that you really like, you know, spell, I don't know, a spell thief or you know anything, you you can go ahead and play whatever else you want as like a one of in that slot. Ah, so that's what they're trying to do. Okay. Yeah, so we can still priestess into a comment. Wow, what a card Bandle Tree just created.
Hmm. I guess that's it. Don't get to. Don't get to save this. Shade Stalker. Alright, so we're probably, we're kind of, we're probably going to need to kill them this next round. Or, you know, I'm going to look for, you know, Priestess, look for Obliterate. They're probably not going to stay alive and also get to 10 regions this round, so I think I can, I don't know, Nami, Infernum. Find peace in the quiet, Fel. It's just us. This is probably pretty greedy. Not going with the Fallen Comet there. I know I have like enough for like the elusive damage already, but let's make it more. Inferno. To start with. All right, good game. Want to know? Whoa, Aurelia Azir. Been a been a minute since we played against Aurelia Azir. Okay, I think we'll send it all back. Yep. Don't really want to keep forward five and six mana. Cards. Just like we Could keep the gifts from beyond, but yeah, don't need to. Alright, we'll get Sparklefly in. Next round we'll play Nami, have the two spell mana for Vicar. Try to do, you know, it's 33% chance of hitting the sparring student, which would be really nice. But then they, they could also just recall. Maybe not. Maybe I go Sun Blessed Vigor, Aphelios. Save one spell mana. That'd be spell mana number three. Emperor's Dias. When were 
Wow. Wow. I just have to do this. <sighs> Let the tide carry you. Hopefully not at all what I want to do. I'd rather play multiple spells here and, and everything. Sparklefly always attacks, basically. I'm basically always attacking with Sparklefly. It's just, usually don't have an elusive blocker <laughs> for the spark of fly also. Oh, come on. That's if you say so. Yeah, this this game was pretty rough. Yeah, the two Dias. This was a, a really good hand, right? Sparring student round one, Dias round two, Azir round three, Dias plus Green Glade duo round four, Blossoming Blade five. I think this is just a great great hand, and so good job, opponent. Destiny Had a very good hand. And then multiple bounce spells after that, after that first five rounds we talked about, then multiple bounce spells. I mean, that's... And a second Azir. GG's, that's, you know, that's a good game. Yeah, I wanted to have my do the three damage to the Elusive, but I just never had the opportunity to just mana-wise and everything. Just didn't have the opportunity to spend three mana on that Moon Weapon, and that's what I wanted to do. We never could. Alright, Draven, Scion. Sunburst is great against Scion, but I don't know if that means that I keep it in my opener. We're going to have to find other things to do. I think I have to send it back.
really use a double trouble. Okay, sparkle fly. Gross. These opponents, with these curve outs. These are some curve outs. Are we dead already? Yeah, sure, it looks like we're dead already. Is Mirai Great Mother on the Nami art? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that looks like Mariah Great Mother. And what are these hands these people have? Just curve out perfectly and then also have multiple bounce spells, or just curve out perfectly and multiple get excited? What are these hands? We'll just have to keep trying. Hmm. So I'm guessing they're gonna have one of these champions on round three, and then Poppy on round four, and attacking with that. That's my guess. Can we get a double trouble, please? Like one, one double trouble once. Game number four. Please. Yeah, I kept Guiding Touch because I could play Guiding Touch like right here and then play Nami. But, I don't know, maybe I should not have. My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. Hang on, Buzzball! Hey! I was planning on Crescendum, but... I don't want to get rid of those challengers. Come on.
We can't also have sharp sight, right? Yay, no sharp sight. Well, how about that? No sharp sight. Alright, so level up Nami. And we got a shot with leveled up Nami. Level up Nami means you always have a shot. No, I mean the vulnerable is the right play. I mean the barrier would not wouldn't have mattered anyway against the silence, but yeah, you know, like they were they were planning on this vulnerable. I know their fear. I felt it too. The tide carry you. Okay, awesome. That all worked. Alright, this is looking good for us. They haven't had, you know, like that one combat trick. They haven't had a sharp sight, twin disciplines, anything like that. Difficult decision. Heaven Flow is usually pretty disappointing. I think I like just kind of saving it. Alright, there we go. That will do. Two and two. They didn't have like that one combat trick. Our Previous two opponents who had the, the great curve out, and then they had, you know, like the bounce spells or the get excited. This opponent had a curve out, but they didn't have the combat trick. And so we were able to get them. Okay, we're going to retry Draven Scion. We did lose this matchup earlier. We're going to retry this matchup now. Wow, we have a double trouble? That's the first time that's ever happened. Hmm. I'm not doing the absolute best at leveling up Nami.
Draven makes life difficult. Okay, so we haven't taken too much damage yet. We're now going to have leveled up Nami. I can also I play Aphelios, but I can't darkness. play the Moon Weapon. We can get Aphelios in play as well. I'm not sure what Moon Weapon I'm going for right now. Probably Crescendum, I suppose. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's Twin Blade Remnant. Temperamental as Certainly wish I could play one of these moon weapons right now. Yeah, I wish I could grab the deal three and kill that, but they should be playing this right now and then open attacking. That's what I would expect them to do. Let's do this. <laughs> This Aphelios. Hmm. Why not just discard the lost soul I know about? I know about. I guess maybe I should have. We did get to kill the Draven, but maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't have not have grabbed the Crescendum, because now I can't play both of these. I probably shouldn't have grabbed two Crescendums. Because I don't have the space, I don't have the units. Oh, you think I should have... Oh man, now I really don't have the space. Ugh. I think I should have hushed. See, all right. So if I play this crescendum, we waste it, but we do get to create another a new moon weapon in hand. Which I'm not doing anything with that new moon weapon this round anyway. So I guess I guess we don't need to do that. Um. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Celestial power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War this, war that. I'm counting on you, Admiral. Let the tide carry you. 
What is that? Oh, that's got to be the the Poro Cannon, right? Oh, flock? Did this have Flock in their deck? Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. That's a card I wasn't expecting. Flock. I should grab the, the deal three damage and then just play that and then level up Felios and then grab Severum. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Level up a Felios. Oh, it goes back to zero. I'm already going to have infinite life. I don't need this life steal. I should grab the, the deal three again. But I just I just don't really like the deal three. You know, like it, these things just all die so easily anyway. But I'm, I'm, I'm already going to have 20 life. All right, so my plan here. So like this thing has life steal. What they could do though, they can block with their daring poro and shoot their own daring poro if they have like a removal spell. And so, kind of my plan is to give this Overwhelm. Not let them just shoot their own uh, blocker. So now it's 12 power Overwhelm Lifesteal. And, and I reset, that's true. Like, I, by playing that Overwhelm, we get to reset and get to get another Crescendum. So whatever I cho chose with the first one didn't matter. So we're good there. Anything else? <laughs> For truth. Believe, Aphelios. Still block that one? Why not? Did they have Scorched Her? Or maybe. Well, why not just block like the six and like save a whole lot of life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got some four rows. That will do. All right, got our revenge on Draven Sion, and we went three and two. Felios look good. 
Okay, so we only so we went three and two, which you know sounds like a pretty good record, but not amazing. But if you look at the two hands that we lost to that our opponent had, they were incredible, and so that's what it kind of took for our deck to lose. We did uh, beat some other good hands and beat some other good decks, um, and we only had we only had like the double trouble the one game, <laughs> you know, just that last game. But yeah, I think our our deck definitely looked good. Nami is just so good, and Nami with the Felios definitely gives you some really good late game. Um, and some really good stabilizing with the lifesteal moon weapon. Get your sparkle fly for the lifesteal. You can have a lot of lifesteal with that. With those two things to go along with Nami. Um, so, you know, lots of good stuff with the deck. And got a 3-2. And Nami just still looks really strong. Every time I play a Nami deck, I'm just thinking, man, that Nami card is good. And that was kind of what our, you know, what we could say with our deck right there. So there we go. All right, so that's going to be it for Aphelios Nami. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And if you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know in the comment section how it goes for you. How do you like the deck? Um, it, you know, are you doing well with it? Struggling with anything? Anything like that? Got any suggestions? Um, but, you know, hopefully this is another just different kind of deck for those of y'all that like um, Aphelios. This is a good way to play Aphelios. All right, but that's it for Aphelios Nami. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.